Hey, welcome back. So tonight's one of those rare nights where I have stuff for the Spree, stuff for the RS100, and stuff to do for the Dio. But I think for tonight, I'm going to stick with the Spree, uh, just because I have to make some things for it, so I need to get some measurements off of it to see if everything's going to work out the way that I want. These uh, NCY legs showed up today from Scooter Tuning. Um, why am I swapping them? So, the legs that are on the Spree now are AliExpress Specials, and while they are basically the same, the fit and finish on that particular set that I have on the Spree um, is really quite poor. Um, they are really, really loose, and they've always been really, really loose. These ones seem like they're quite tight, like they don't knock. Um, and I also got ones that were uh, 30 centimeters longer than the ones that are on the Spree, um, so I can shorten them to the length that I want. And if I need to, we'll be doing a video of that. So I'm going to drag down the, the Dio drag bike, uh, put the Spree up in its place, and pull the legs off. I also have a brake hose to install, and a tire to swap out to a slick. The other weird thing about the Spree is these are a set of drum Honda Metropolin uh, trees with the legs cut off and then welded onto a Spree steer or two. And as with all of these large rotor setups, you gotta take the rotor off to get the brake off. It's kind of annoying. So these ones are definitely a little bit longer, both the leg, leg height is a bit longer and the uh, slider tubes are a bit longer. Which I kind of wanted, but we'll see how it looks. I may, like I said, I may shorten them half an inch to an inch and I, that's why I got the longer one so I'd have that option. The other thing is the more you lower this, the slider in the lower leg can move down, the more rigid the fork ends up being but then you run the risk of bottoming out the slider leg in the bottom of the fork, even though you have leg left at the top. But there are ways around that too, like you could machine the top. I could machine the, cut the top off and then remachine, put a new thread in for a top cap. So uh, that's getting kind of ahead of myself. But So I think what I'm gonna do is since I have the wheel off, I'm going to change the tire to the stage 6 slick that I have and um, we'll mount it and put it on the floor and kind of check the ride height and see if it's any good. So this is a Kitako wheel um, for a monkey with a monkey hub.
There we go. Stage six slick mounted on Kitako wheel with a monkey modified monkey hub. So let's see what kind of ride height we're gonna end up with here. So here's the RS24 shock in its home too. It's uh, the 267 millimeter long one for the Dio slash Ital Jet Dragster. But uh, still a few things left to, left to go on this. Um, I need to finish making the exhaust bracket, but now that I have the plasma cutter, shouldn't actually be too bad to plasma cut out a couple of brackets for that. I also still need to finish plumbing in the radiator. I wanted to order up some silicone hose and I have to work on some of the controls. I really want to get rid of these levers. Um, I kind of hate them. They're awful. Both that and the brake one is awful. And uh, I have a GPS speedometer for this now, a little bicycle one, instead of running the big giant cluster, and it's much more accurate. So I'm going to be rocking that as well. So now with that extra front fork clearance, I may also try and run this Monkey R front fender that I've had here for a while. I don't know how, how that's going to look on the whole thing. doesn't look too bad. But I need to figure out some way to mount it on there. So I think that's it for tonight. Um, yeah, I don't have a ferrule for the inside of that, so I can't really do anything with it. Uh, I'll have to either make one or take figure out what it looks like and try getting it out of there. But um, coming up, I have been making... Sorry, I cut out the material for making a stretch mount for the Dio. So that's going to be an upcoming video going to uh, finish this and install it and um, then also make the uh, solid rear link for the, to replace the shock on the back and then on the RS100 I have a little bit of front brake stuff to do and install a rear tire and rear brake stuff to do as well it may just start into that as well so those will also be coming up but that's it for this evening uh, until next time take care